Hello friends. Today we are going to learn essay on my ideal leader or an Indian hero, Mahatma Gandhi. So let's start. My ideal leader or an Indian hero. Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi was born on the 2nd of October 1869 at Porbandar. His father was Duan in the state of Rajkot. He was married to Kasturba when he was only a school student. After completing his schooling he went to England to study law and returned to India as a barrister in 1891. He started his legal practice at Bombay but in connection with a case of an Indian firm he had to go to South Africa. It was in South Africa that Gandhi ji started his political career. He was shocked to see that the Indian settlers there were humiliated and insulted. Gandhi ji decided to fight against this injustice. He knew very well that he would not be able to achieve his objective by violence or force, so he invented a novel method of struggle for truth, justice and right which is popularly known as satyagraha or non-violent resistance. Gandhi ji had great faith in satyagraha. During the course of his non-violent struggle, many a time he was insulted and even manhandled, but he continued his fight relentlessly and ultimately he won the battle and was successful in securing the rights for the Indians in South Africa. Gandhi ji returned to India from South Africa in 1915. He enrolled himself as a member of the Indian National Congress and devoted his energy to India's struggle for independence. After the death of Lokmanya Tilak in 1920, Gandhi ji became the topmost leader of this party and guided the course of struggle for freedom of India. The experiment of Satyagraha had already stood the acid test in South Africa. Gandhi ji decided to adopt the same method for the purpose of achieving independence for India. Under the banner of the Congress he started the non-cooperation and civil disobedience movements in India. These movements proved very successful and thousands of Indians from all walks of life participated in these movements and caught at arrest. Gandhi ji himself was arrested and imprisoned several times. He organized the Quit Movement in August 1942. To his countrymen he gave a call, do or die. Along with other prominent leader congress and thousands of persons, Gandhi ji was arrested and sent to jail. Like a brave soldier, he continued to fit Hardships could not deter him from the right path of justice and non-violence. Ultimately, this unique method struggle succeeded and India achieved her independence the 15th of August 1947. The struggle which Gandhi ji on was long, tiring and full of difficulties and hardships, but won freedom for India without bloodshed. Gandhi ji was a saint. He was a staunch believer in violence and Hindu Muslim unity. He was deeply joyed by the Hindu Muslim riots in the country that followed partition of India in 1947. Gandhi ji went from place place and pacified the angry mobs with his message of an peace. It was he who brought about peace in N and Calcutta in Bengal, Bihar and Delhi and Ester communal harmony. On the 30th of January 1948, he was dead by a fanatic while he was going to his prayer meeting Birla house in New Delhi. The whole world was clinging grief and mourning at the death of this noble soul apostle of peace. Next day his body was cremated Rajghat. Since then every foreign king, president, prime minister or dignitary who visits India goes to re to pay homage to him and lays a wreath at his samadhi. Gandhi ji was a great leader, a saint and a great reformer. He was pious, truthful and religious. He bell in simple living and high thinking. Everybody who in contact with him was deeply influenced by his perso even in politics Gandhi ji behaved like a saint. His weapon was ahimsa or non-violence. He believed noble end cannot be achieved by ignoble means. He great passion for harijan uplift. He used to stay at colony in New Delhi. He hated the practice of into and worked with great zeal for the removal of ability and strongly advocated temple entry for the Gandhi ji's ideal was Ramraj. wherein there were el complete peace justice and happiness according to her imprisoned several times he organized the quit movement in august 1942 to his countrymen he ga call do or die along with other prominent leaders see congress and thousands of persons gandhi ji was arrested sent to jail like a brave soldier he continued to hardships could not deter him from the right path of justice and non violence Ultimately this unique method struggle succeeded and India achieved her independence the 15th of August 1947. The struggle which Gandhi ji on was long, tiring and full of difficulties and hardships, BTTI won freedom for India without bloodshed. Gandhi ji was a saint. He was a staunch believer in violence and Hindu Muslim unity. 
He was deeply by the Hindu Muslim riots in the country that followed partition of India in 1947. Gandhi ji went from place to place and pacified the angry mobs with his message of an peace. It was he who brought about peace in Noor and Calcutta in Bengal, Bihar and Delhi and the Estat communal harmony. On the 30th of January 1948, he was dead by a fanatic while he was going to his prayer at Birla House in New Delhi. The whole world was plum grief and mourning at the death of this noble Sue Apostle of Peace. Next day his body was cremated Rajghat. Since then every foreign king, president, minister or dignitary who visits India goes to to pay homage to him and lays a wreath at his samadhi. Gandhi ji was a great leader, a saint and a great reformer. He was pious, truthful and religious. He in simple living and high thinking. Everybody who in contact with him was deeply influenced by his per Even in politics Gandhi ji behaved like a saint. His weapon was ahimsa or non-violence. He believed nobler and cannot be achieved by ignoble means, great passion for harijan uplift. He used to stay at colony in New Delhi. He hated the practice of hindu and worked with great zeal for the removal of una ability and strongly advocated temple entry for the hap Gandhi ji's ideal was Ram Raj, wherein there would be complete peace, justice and happiness. According to ethical society free from conflicts and tensions coercive apparatus of the state and based on harmonious relations between various interests and classes of society would be established under Ram Raj He was a champion of democracy and was deadly opposed to dictatorial rule Gandhi ji showed India and the world the path of truth and non-violence He believed that it is strictly alone that prevails in the end Gandhi ji believed that real India lived in more than 5 lakh villages and therefore he worked for village uplift According to him India's real emancipation depended on swadeshi i.e. boycott of foreign goods use of khadar and encouragement to village and cottage industries Mahatma Gandhi is known as the father of the nation because it was he who won freedom for us He was the maker of modern India India would not have been a free country but for Gandhi ji He was the light of the nation and the architect of India's freedom. The spiritual and moral force of Gandhi ji's miraculous weapon of non-violence shook the foundations of the mighty British empire over which the sun never set. Gandhi ji was a true believer in simple living and high thinking. He used to put on only a loin cloth. He taught that true greatness did not lie in pomp and show but in service, love, truth and labor. It has rightly been said about Gandhi ji that he was the greatest of the great. He is our guiding star. Gandhi ji was a great thinker and he expressed his views on a very wide range of subjects. In so far as religion was concerned, he believed in the equality and unity of all religions. According to him all religions were different paths to the same goal and their aim was to make their followers better persons. In his view no religion taught hatred to others, all religions taught love for all religions. Gandhi ji had full and firm faith in God. and for him god and religion were inseparable for him religion and politics could not be separated from each other because they were like the body and the soul in his own words politics bereft of religion is a death trap because it kills the soul gandhi ji's supreme moral force found expression in satyagraha which was a means to convert not to annihilate one's adversary satyagraha mean nonviolent resistance and a plea for self suffering for a right just a noble cause For Gandhi ji means were as important as ends. If the ends were noble, they could not be achieved by ignoble means. The axiom ends justify the means was not approved by him. He believed in the use of right means for realizing right ends. According to him the connection between the means and the ends was the same as between the seed and the tree. Gandhi ji was a staunch believer in ahimsa, which am not a weapon of the weak but a manifestation of invincible strength. The high degree of self-restraint of which the cult of ahimsa was born was impossible for the faint-hearted ahimsa was a feature of large-heartedness that had no tar for hatred ill will and anger for the opponent he would resort to violence against anybody even under the great provocation so much so that he said freedom won violent means was of no use to me for gandhi ji education did not mean literacy light was only an aid to education He held that true educa was that which was capable of achieving the objective all-round development of man. Man constitutes the body, mind and the spirit. Education was aimed at bringing a balanced and harmonious development of the three. A lapment of any one or two of the three meant a low development. 
According to him training of the body essential part of education because no mental devil was possible without adequate physical training The arship between the body and the mind was so interwoven that development was impossible independent of each similarly no intellectual attainment was worthwhile spiritual education He therefore advocated a sai education which took care of the body the mind and simultaneously Gandhi ji was of the opinion that education should be closely related to the needs of the and the country the education of a child should stand a useful craft philosophy of the gita that every living being was a part of the supreme being that exists in the soul of all god was the creator of all and he created all men equal to him nobody was high or low superior or inferior the practice of untouchability was an anathema to him he considered it a social evil that had sapped the vitality of our society He was deeply distressed at the inhuman treatment meted out to nearly one fifth of our population, who had been reduced to the level of serfs and were being denied all human rights. To him, the practice of untouchability was a moral and irreligious, unjust, and human, and against the principle of human equality. It was unjust and inhuman because it perpetrated cruelty on a section of people for no fault of theirs. It was immoral because no law of morality permits subjugation of other people. It was against the principle of human equality because it denied some unfortunate people even the basic human rights. He started a mass campaign for the removal of all sorts of disabilities attached to the Harijan. Thank you for watching.